Hi guys, how are you? Hope you guys are having a lovely Friday. Today's Black Friday um, here in America, so it's kind of crazy. I decided to stay in. So um, today I'm making a review on, I am no, I'm going to butcher this name, so I apologize on how I'm going to say it. Um, Kira Cascio. Kira Cascio. She's from Rosen Maiden. So here she is. This was requested by a couple subscribers. So this is for you guys, okay? Or girls. Okay, so as always, I will tell you guys, um, you know, pros and cons and, you know, my honest opinion, okay? So let's get started with her wig. Her wig is a very interesting color. It's actually... Yeah, it's very interesting and really unique and pretty. I don't think there's any other polyp dolls that I've known that have this type of hair color. It's like a pink-white, depending on the lighting. It's translucent. It's pretty cool. It's really beautiful. Um, let's see if you guys could see it. Okay. The thing that's, that's pretty... I don't know what I wish they would have done differently with this wig. Is I wish it would have been a little bit thicker. I feel like it's a little too thin on the thin side. Um, it's also made out of a different quality wig. Um, it's kind of like... Um, I don't know what's the best way to describe it. Like those wigs that you, you would find at a Halloween shop that are very like poor quality. Um, kind of like that. Um, I think the newer Pulip dolls have way better quality wigs than, than this doll, than, than this wig I meant to say. So, um, I'm not really liking the quality, but the color is just beautiful and unique. Um, like I said, a little bit of the thin size. You can kind of see some netting on the top. Um, so that's with that um what else she also comes with these really pretty fake flower um accessory i guess that's the best way to describe it um the little branches here are, are made out of plastic and this is just fake flower cloth um they're held together on her head by like a really thin rubber band um and they're pretty durable they're not you know, it's so bad. They're really, it looks like they're really glued on really nicely. So I don't have any concerns with that. Um, let's see. Her eyes, her face up. Okay, let me describe it to you. So her face up is smoky, kind of like gray color with white eyeliner. And also like a black cat eye um, drawn on the side. Um, her eye color is pretty unique. It's like a yellow kind of like orange hint cat eye. And she has a hint of peach um, blush and a light peach lip gloss color lips so here it is she's giving you a closer look so this is how her eyes look like when you close them well actually with her you can't close them because she's a type 3 type 3's um, are ones that you cannot close their eyes you have to just hold it see so they have black eyeliner and her eyes move left and right Pretty, pretty stiff actually okay so oh my gosh I'm trying to be careful because her wig is so long um, not to like mess it up so okay so let me continue talking to you about her stock so her stock is made out of like a like a thin very thin um, silk like material so she has her top which is a long sleeve and it has this right it looks like this and in the back, it's held by actually like hooks, like a hook and a, yeah, like hooks. And she actually also has this choker, which is separate from that. That's also held by a hook in the back. Um, and she has her skirt, which is very interesting because it has different layers, like three layers. So that's one. And then we have layer number two. Let me put her arm up so you can see that. Layer number two. And then that's basically the bottom part, which is three. Okay. So her skirt is really tightly fitted, and underneath her skirt, she has a silk panty. Okay. The thing that I could tell you about her stock outfit is that um, it's easily stainable just because it's white, and um depending on how you hold it some of the threads start coming like undoing themselves it's pretty fragile um there's parts of it 
don't know if you could see it. Let me see if I can show you. That there's like, you know, it's undoing itself. It's not the best, but not, certainly not the worst. It's satisfactory. I've seen better. Um, so I just wanted to let you know. Her boots are made out of like white, fake, say kind of leather material. I think they're the best part of the stock. Actually, they're very durable. They're very nicely fitted. Um, I have no complaints whatsoever regarding it. I absolutely love them. This is one of my favorite parts in her stock. So, what else? Oh, one thing I wanted to let you guys know about this doll in particular is like, again, like I was saying before, she's a type 3, and type 3s are known to come with like the wrist cracked, the wrist cracked, the wrist that, you know, sometimes are cracked, you know, right out of the box. And she was no different. Her wrist, both of them, when I opened her, were broken actually and I had to crazy glue them so for that reason I could no longer move her hands let me see if I could show it to you like up close right here I had to glue it because it came off so that part kind of sucks so oh look I can move her hands but very minimal you know not to move it so much so that's a problem with type 3 so she came with that Okay, so there she is. She also comes with um, her eye patch that you see in Rose and Maiden. She wears. I don't have it on her because I like to see her lovely eyes. But let me show it to you. Oh, look, and I think the. It's kind of strange. Let me see. Looks like the branches are broken on mine. That's kind of weird. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be that way. See, I don't know because I've never taken it off. But it looks like they un they were unglued while in the package. These are supposed to be like glued on the side. So you can see that's pretty fragile. Wow, I've never even put it on and look at that. And this is her eye patch which it's held by like a very, very fragile like rubber band like material which you have to tie around her eye which I believe she has it on her right eye on the anime and on the manga it's supposed to be like that with the branches on the side and as you can see it's pretty poorly glued on so I, I would suggest if you have that and it comes off glue it on with crazy glue um, maybe the branches on her on her head like the accessories may be that way it may come off through time I don't know how it, that happened but just happened um, she also comes with her key I want I don't want to spoil anything so watch the anime so you know more information on the key and she comes with another part of my, my one of my favorite parts of her is her plush rabbit and again I'm not gonna say what it is in specific in order not to spoil anything you know um, for you if you haven't watched the anime and it is very, very, very cute. See? It's very cute. And she also comes with her card. Which is like suitable for her. Because it looks kind of like creepy. And I don't want to give out too much details. Again, if you haven't seen the anime. See? So that's basically it with when it comes to her. So what do I have to say about her? Okay, so this doll was released several years ago when the anime was launched. Um, she is really hard to come by. She was actually a limited edition of a thousand um, back in the day. So she's really hard to come by. And even if you do see her, she will cost you a lot of money. Right now, I can tell you she's one of the most expensive pullers like ever to obtain. Originally, I believe she was like $120. Now, if you want this doll, she would cost you up to like five hundred to a thousand dollars. Why? Because you know people like to amp up the prices for like pull it dolls of the limited edition, and because she is one of um, I don't want to spoil it, but kind of like the rare character, like a rare character you see in the anime. So I guess you know I don't know that's that's one of the reasons why they did that. But I'm just telling you now that she is pretty expensive. Um, if you want to buy her unboxed, I think she will cost you to 400 or 500 If you see her box, it's 600 and up. So she is not easy to come by. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I usually prefer reviewing newer dolls because they're easier to obtain. But since this was a request, um, 
that's the reason why I made this video. If not, I probably would have not. But yeah, she's really hard to come by. What would I recommend? Would you recommend? Uh, would I recommend you to get her? If you have that money, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe you could like with that same amount of money, you could buy other dolls. But yeah, she's just really expensive. I only recommend her to you if you're a Rosa Maiden fan and you're just die hard. You know, like I am. I'm a die hard Rosa Maiden fan, but. Other than that, I really would say look elsewhere just because it's so hard for her to come by. Yeah, she's beautiful, but the price is just crazy. So, um, that's basically it. Oh, and if you could find her, eBay would be your best bet or Flickr.com. So, that's basically it. So, um, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate and ask. And I hope this review was helpful. And um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.